cornerback Jason McCourty has 17 interceptions over 10 NFL seasons. Photo by Scott W. Grau, Icon Sports Wire 1018 AM ETA Breakdown of the New England Patriots 2019 Free Agent Signings. Jason McCourty, cornerback the New England Patriots and cornerback Jason McCourty have reached agreement on a two-year deal with a base value of $10 million and $5.5 million guaranteed. McCourty, the twin brother of Patriots safety Devin McCourty, spent the 2018 season with the Patriots after previously having been with the Browns 2017 and Titans 2009-2016, what it means, McCourty, who turns. 32 in August, made valuable contributions to the Patriots' Super Bowl winning campaign and his return bolsters what is arguably the deepest position on the roster with Stephon Gilmore, McCourty, J.C. Jackson, Jonathan Jones, Duke Dawson and Keon Crossan. In a passing league, having a talented, deep, versatile defensive backfield is critical and the Patriots are well stocked. McCourty's leadership was also cited by some of the team's younger players, so his return also has a positive trickle-down effect on Jackson, Dawson and Crossan, all second-year players who appear to have bright futures. What's the risk minimal, but teams are always balancing investing too much in older players and free agency. Given the modest projected financial aspect of this deal, it isn't a huge factor. Philip Dorsett, wide receiver at the Patriots and Dorsett struck an agreement on a one-year deal Wednesday. Here's a closer look at Dorsett, who spent the previous two seasons in New England after being with the Colts the first two years of his career. What you need to know about the New England Patriots, Patriots free agent signings, team needs, WR, Tay, DT, Tracker, latest moves around NFL, full top 100 free agent ranking what it means. The Patriots went hard after slot receiver Adam Humphreys, who ended up choosing the Titans over coming to New England, and so this was one of the first dominoes to fall after that turn of events early in free agency. The Patriots might have brought Dorset back regardless, as he was a valuable substitute in 2018 who showed the ability to make some critical plays in pressure situations, e.g. TD catches in playoff wins against the Chargers and Chiefs. The team is still thin at receiver, so it would be a surprise if the Patriots move stop with Dorset. What's the risk? The one-year term means that if Dorset breaks out, he could become a much more expensive option on the market in 2020. But that's a minimal risk to take. John Simon, outside linebacker at the Patriots and Simon are close to finalizing an extension, terms undisclosed, on Wednesday. Here's a closer look at Simon, who joined the Patriots last September after being cut by the Colts entering the second season of a three-year, $13.5 million deal. What it means, the 6'2", 260-pound Simon is a solid player who carved out a role on the 46-man game day roster last season, so the significance of his return shouldn't be overlooked, despite him not being a bigger name on the market. Consider that Simon played 85 defensive snaps over three playoff games last season, which reflects how his role grew as the importance of games did. Every team needs starting caliber players at manageable salary cap charges, which helps build a strong middle class on the roster, and Simon falls into this category. It is why Simon's odds of returning were rated highly entering free agency. What's the risk? Simon's injury history. Since emerging as a full-time starter in 2015, he has played in all 16 games in a regular season once, 2015 with Houston, Brandon Bolden, running back the Patriots and Bolden have reached agreement on a two-year extension worth $4.7 million. Here's a closer look at Bolden, who played for the Patriots from 2012 to 2017 before spending the 2018 season with the Dolphins. What it means, with three running backs on the roster, James White, Sony Michel, Rex Burkhead, the Patriots need to fill out their depth chart at a time when teams can carry up to 90 players. So bringing back Bolden, who is a core special teams player competing for a roster spot as a no? Four option, adds a well-known player to the team who also contributes to the often overlooked locker room culture. The financial terms of the deal, which guarantees him $2 million, indicates that Bolden will be on the roster and that the club perhaps regrets letting him go last year. What's the risk? None. 
With 90-man rosters and limited salary cap impact, Bolden is the type of player any team would want around at this time of year. The team projects to still add other running backs this offseason. Mike Pennell, defensive tackle for Patriots agreed with Pennell on a two-year deal, financial terms undisclosed, on Thursday. Here is a closer look at Pennell, who has appeared in 69 career regular season games for the Packers, 2014-2016, and Jets, 2017-2018. What it means, the Patriots needed a replacement for defensive tackle Malcolm Brown, who signed a reported three-year, $15 million deal with the Saints, and the 6'4", 332-pound Pennell fits the bill. He's a big, strong, powerful player who projects as a starter next to Lawrence Guy on the interior on early downs before coming off the field in obvious passing situations. And he likely comes much cheaper on the salary cap. What's the risk, on the field, not much? Off the field, Pennell was suspended for the first four games of the 2016 season for violating the NFL's substance abuse policy. Terrence Brooks, safety, Patriots agreed with Brooks on a two-year deal, financial terms undisclosed, on Thursday. Here is a closer look at Brooks, who has played in 65 career regular season games with the Ravens, 2014-2015, Eagles, 2016, and Jets, 2017-2018. What it means, Bill Belichick values special teams as much as any head coach in the NFL and the signing on the second day of free agency is reflective of that. The 5'11", 200-pound Brooks, who entered the NFL as a third-round draft choice of the Ravens out of Florida State in 2014, was a challenge for the Patriots to compete against the past two seasons. Improving those units is always on Belichick's radar. What's the risk? None. Maurice Harris, receiver the Patriots agreed to terms with Harris on Thursday. Here's a closer look at the 2016 undrafted free agent out of California who has appeared in 28 career regular season games with Washington, totaling 28 receptions. What it means, Harris wasn't tendered an offer as a restricted free agent by Washington, making him a free agent, and the Patriots pounced on him after losing out on free agent slot receiver Adam Humphreys. Harris is 6 foot 3 and 200 pounds, and considered a solid route runner, but isn't particularly fast. He will vie for a roster spot at a position that remains arguably the team's top need. Harris did some nice things against the Patriots in the preseason, which might have caught the attention of Belichick and co. What's the risk the Patriots need to fill out the depth chart, and in a situation with low expectations, there's low risk. Bruce Ellington, receiver the Patriots agreed Thursday with Ellington on a one-year deal for $895,000 with $25,000 guaranteed. Here's a closer look at Ellington, who has played in 44 career regular season games with the 49ers 2014-2015, Texans 2017-2018, and Lions 2018. What it means, the 5'9", 200-pound Ellington is a slot receiver with punt return and kickoff return experience. Once the Patriots didn't land top target Humphreys in free agency, they starting looking at fallback options, which led them to Ellington. The South Carolina alum has a background in a Patriots-type system from his time with Bill O'Brien's Texans and Matt Patricia's Lions, but he'll still need to fight for a roster spot in New England. What's the risk of health? Ellington has had some issues with his hamstring in the past, once telling reporters that he had part of it surgically removed. Matt Lacosi, tight end the Patriots agreed to terms with Lacosi on a two-year deal worth up to $3.8 million on Thursday. Here's a closer look at Lacosi, who entered the NFL as an undrafted free agent out of Illinois with Giants in 2015 and broke through last season with the Broncos with 24 receptions for 250 yards and one touchdown. What it means, the Patriots release no. Option Dwayne Allen, whose primary contributions came as a blocker, and now add the 6'6", 255-pound Lacosi as a potential option to fill his void. Lacosi had five catches for 60 yards and two touchdowns in the 2017 preseason finale against the Patriots, and one wonders if Belichick has been keeping eyes on him since. 
he has a longer, lankier build, giving him the look of more of a big receiver, but that doesn't mean there isn't potential for him to develop as an inline blocker. What's the risk? Lacosi is still developing, and the Patriots are making a financial investment, albeit not one that breaks the bank, that projects him continuing to grow at the position. To make this website better, to improve and personalize your experience and for advertising purposes, are you happy to accept cookies and other technologies? More info here Cookie Choices